Okay, what we have here is a uh, do-it-yourself regulated power supply. It's got a fuse on it, indicator light. This is a uh, pot to adjust the voltage. So, uh, this uh, knob is actually off a of Fender guitar. You can get that off the tube uh, website, sell tubes. That's the uh, regulator there is an LM338. It's good for 5 uh, amps. You put a couple of them together, you can get 10 amps or more. Uh, there's circuits out on the internet for, for five, uh, you know, 5 amp or more circuits. We're running right now 6.3 uh, volts and we're running the uh, tube filament under load to uh, check the uh, temperatures stuff and it was running and we got a digital thermometer here Let's see if we can pick that up Got to get the light just right. Here we go. Running about 160 degrees when you let it warm up. That's showing about 158, 160. It's only been running about 10 minutes. So, the advantage of running uh, DC on your tubes, <clears throat> it's uh, when you run an audio, you're going to get rid of uh, some of the, the hum. Uh, running radio frequency, uh, it's going to be a smoother uh, oscillation, a little bit more power. And the circuit that we're using, like I say, there's a lot of circuits out there. You just type in uh, adjustable regulator using the LM338, and you're going to find a lot of stuff. Transformer, full bridge rectifier, and we've got some capacitors here. That's uh, 10 micro, uh, 10,000 microfarads, and then you're gonna put a smaller one over here for the uh, filtering. Also, diode, this regulator, adjustable. It's a pot, 5k. Uh, put a 5k pot there. It's best to run a 10-turn uh, pot. That way you can get a real fine tune on it. We had a 10-turn, but I had burned it out in other experiments. Install it in the circuit. Couldn't figure out why it wouldn't work. Couldn't believe I burned that thing out. Anyhow, and uh, this is the rest of the circuit here. Capacitor or the uh, diode. So there you have it.